You can use AI to design like a pro. I pulled together the following design and it took me about probably two to three minutes. And I'm not a designer and that looks pretty darn good. We're going to look at a brand new tool called Microsoft Designer. And this is one of Microsoft's first products to incorporate Copilot, which is an AI assistant that makes designing things a breeze. Let's check out how you can use Microsoft Designer right now. To get started with Microsoft Designer, head to the following website. You could click on the card right up above or down below in the description. Once you land on this website, click on the button that says Start Designing. This now drops us on the start page for Microsoft Designer. And one of the biggest differences you might notice is we're not just dropped into a blank canvas where we have to come up with a design idea. Instead, over here on the left-hand side, it says to describe the design that you'd like to create. So here I can type in some text and then the AI will generate a design based on that text. If you're having trouble coming up with inspiration, over on the right-hand side, we can see all of these different sample designs. And one of the really neat things, when I hover over any one of these designs, I can see the text that was used to come up with that design. So over here, I can type in some text and I'll get a similar high quality design to what we see over here on the side. Now that is pretty cool. Over here, I want to design an ad for the Kevin Cookie Company. And specifically, I want an Instagram post. And in that design, I'd like to include some cookies, some milk, and I really want to project a wholesome image. Down below, I could also add some images, or I could even use AI to generate images. But for now, I just want to see what the AI comes up with, so I'll click on Generate. And check that out! Over here on the right, I now have all of these different designs that I can choose from. And some of them look really nice. And some of them even use motion graphics. That's pretty cool. If I want to see a large version of any one of these, here I could click on the magnifying glass and I can look at it in a little bit more detail. Now, if for whatever reason I don't like any of these designs, I could simply click on generate again and that'll give me another 15 different images that I can choose from. Right up here, I could also select the size. So maybe it's an Instagram post, so I want it to be square. Or maybe it's a Facebook ad and I want these dimensions. I could choose that. When I select one of these dimensions, that'll also regenerate all of these different designs. Looking at these different designs, I really like this one where the cookies are falling into the milk. I like that action shot. And I think that can make for a good poster. Now, it's not perfect as it is, but the good thing is I can select this and then I can make further refinements and tweaks right down here by clicking on Customize Design. And this now drops us into the main designer interface. And what I really appreciate is here I already have a design that I can start from and I'm not staring at that blank canvas. We're going to use the designer interface to modify this design. So we could change things like the text, the colors, the different visuals that appear here. And in a moment, we'll do some of that. Over on the right hand side here, I see the co-pilot again. And this is the AI that generates different design ideas. So if I wanted to say swap out this design and maybe test out a different one, here I have all of these different ideas. For now, I'm happy with this design. So I'll click on the X right up here. First, I want to modify where this text appears. Right now, it's sitting up over this splash of milk and I don't want the text to interfere with all of this action. I can select any object on this design and here I can reposition it to a new spot. One of the nice things here when I drag it around, here I get these nice helpful guidelines telling me that this is now centered on the page. Also, when I have say text or any other item selected, here I see different tools that allow me to modify that item. Here, for instance, I could click into the font and I could modify the font. I could also adjust the font size. So I have all these different tools to get this to look exactly how I want it to look. I also think it would make sense to include a logo for the Kevin Cookie Company on this ad. Over on the left-hand side, I'll click on My Media. And here I can upload different media files into this project. Here I could bring files in from my computer or here from my phone and I can also choose any one of these different cloud service providers. I've already uploaded a logo for the Kevin Cookie Company so I'll select that right here and that inserts the logo onto my project. Just like with the text I can select this object and I can move it to a new position. Here again I'll use those helpful guidelines to place it right here in the center. Over on the left hand side here I could apply various effects 
filters, or I could even make manual adjustments to this logo. But I think the logo looks good, so no need to make any changes. But I do think that it needs to be a little bit bigger. Here, I could click on this handle icon and I could drag my logo so it's larger. I think that's a good size. And here, I'll center it right in the middle of the ad. That looks really good. Also, when I double click on the image, here I could also crop it. So here I could drag this in, but I don't need to crop it, so I'll leave it as is, and then click on done. Now, what good is an ad if people don't know where they can order these cookies? So I'd like to include our website address. Over on the left-hand side, I'll click on text, and here I could insert text into my project. Here I could simply choose one of these headings, or I could choose one of these pre-created options down below. Now, I just want something basic, so here I'll click on add a subheading. And here this inserts text onto my ad. I could double click into that and let me type in our website address. Now that I've typed in our website address, here I'll select the object and let's move it to the very bottom of the ad. And here too, I'll make sure that it's centered. Unfortunately, it's a little bit hard to read this text because the contrast isn't that good. It may help if I insert a visual behind it. And over on the left-hand side, let's click into visuals. And you can insert all sorts of different visuals into your design. Here, we see all of these different cookie images. And what's really neat is the AI has an understanding of the context. I'm building an ad for a cookie company. So here I get all of these different cookie recommendations. Right up above, I could also generate images. Here, I could pull in different photos, different graphics. You could even pull in videos. So you have all of these different options. Now, I want to just insert a solid color behind it. And if I go down a little bit, we have all these different filled shapes. Here, I'll select a rectangle. And let me position that so it covers up the entire text. I'll place it here, and let me expand it right up to this border, and here I'll expand it to this border. The color of the rectangle doesn't match the theme of my ad, but right up here, I can select this eyedropper, and I can select any color from this design. Let's go with this blue color right here, and that applies it to this rectangle. You might be wondering, well, what happened to the text? And right now, this rectangle is sitting right up above the text. With the rectangle selected, right up above, I can adjust the position of this rectangle. Right now, it's sitting on the text. I'll click on this, and here I can send the rectangle backwards. So here I sent it back, and now we see the text. That looks pretty good. I think it would be really nice if maybe you could see a little bit of the cookie behind this rectangle. Here, I'll select just the rectangle. And with this object selected, here I have all of the controls related to this object. And one option is opacity. When I click on this, I can add some transparency. So here we could see a little bit of the reflection and the cookies behind the website URL and the rectangle. And I think that looks pretty classy. This ad is looking really nice, but it's missing a little bit of that secret sauce. And my trick to driving sales is to always include a photo of Cookie Monster. I mean, who doesn't love Cookie Monster? Over on the left-hand side within visuals, right up here, let's click into generate, and I can use AI to generate an image. And here, I'll simply type in Cookie Monster, and let's see what the AI comes up with. And look at these adorable pictures of Cookie Monster. These things are guaranteed to drive some sales. Here, I'll click on this image, and that now inserts it into my project. The one downside is it looks like Cookie Monster has a different background than my poster. So here I want to put Cookie Monster right here, but it doesn't quite match. When I click on Cookie Monster over on the left hand side, I have different effects that I can apply. And one of them is to remove the background using AI. And then I also have the option to blur the background. Let's try removing the background. And just like that, the background disappears. That is pretty fancy. Here, I'll adjust the size a little bit, and let's position him right there. That looks perfect. As we've been working through and building this poster, I've adjusted the colors to make sure that it matches with the Kevin Cookie Company brand. But over on the left-hand side, I can also set up what's called a brand kit. And this is where I can go through and select my different fonts. Here, I could select all of my different brand colors. So when I come in to build an ad in the future, it'll incorporate all of my fonts and all of my colors directly into these designs. That'll save me a lot of time in the future. I think this poster looks really good and I am ready to start showing it on Instagram. In the top right-hand corner, I can click on download and I have a few different options for downloading this design. Here, I have various formats that I can choose from. I'll select PNG. Here, I could also make the background transparent. 
You could remove the watermark and here I could download, copy as an image, or I could send it to my phone. So lots of different options here to get your design onto your computer. To start another design, right up on top here, I could click on new design or over on the left-hand side, I can click on this dropdown and here too, I can also start a new design. If I click on my designs here, I could jump back to any previous designs that I've made. And I've been working on lots of different posters for the Kevin Cookie Company. There are lots of good options. We'll have to see which one converts the best. It's really amazing how easy AI makes it to design something that looks really beautiful. And the part I love the most is it really eliminates that blank canvas problem of how to get started. To watch more videos like this one, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.